this, folks. This is a Canadian winter, and this is Scriber, Ontario. About a two-hour drive east of Thunder Bay. Actually, today, it's about a seven-hour drive east of Thunder Bay. Woo! That Scriber back there behind the snowstorm, trust me, it's there. We've driven here to meet a man named Cosimo Filiomeni, or Cosimo Filane, as he's come to be known. I wouldn't go as far as to saying he's a one-man sporting operation. I couldn't say that, because he's got the help of his wife and eight kids. Count them. But my oldest is uh, Dominic, and he's 26. Okay, my name is Dominic. I'm 26, and I'm uh, number one out of eight kids. Jerry, he's 25. I'm um, Jerry Figlomeni. I'm 25. I'm second oldest. Dean, I think he's 24. I'm 23, and I'm the middle man, number four in the family. Uh, Sally's 22. Edith is about 20. I'm 24 years old. Uh, Sal Figliomeni. I am fifth, fifth child. There's two boys ahead of me, Dom and Jerry. And I think Sean is 18. I'm Sean Joseph Figliomeni. I'm 18. And Dina is about 14. I'm Dina Figliomeni. I'm 15. And little Mario, who's here with us today, he's nine. My name is Mario Feline. I'm nine years old, and um, you're the last one. I'm the last one in my family. This is my wife Diana, and we've been married for 29 years, I guess. Right? She knows all the years and the numbers. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Well, I started a coach when I was uh, 16, 17, either helping somebody or, or being part of a team. And then, uh, then I went out on my own type of thing and got a little group. And this was Fall and Rock Minor Hockey. This is our first time that we've ever had a novice division. Okay, move it now. Let's go, guys. Come on. Well, it was about 12 years ago, and uh, the goal was to get all the kids playing hockey. Well, there was many, many kids sitting out and there was a lot of kids not coming out to hockey because it's always that 12 chosen kids play hockey and the others sit on the bench. So nobody really gives a damn about the little kid that never gets a chance to play. So I uh, wanted to venture into it and try it. Be sure. Okay, clear it in, clear it in. Graham, all you guys, let's go. Push right up tight up here. We all began in hockey, I guess. Hockey's been the beginning for all of us, especially coming from a small town. And uh, being in Scriber, hockey's big here. Even from young, like three, four years, hockey was, was it. You, you started playing hockey and groomed to play. What's the guy? This is your guy. Uh, we had him Adams, and then uh, I think I just had a couple years Pee Wee, and then it, right on through it was, uh, you know, he coached us and he, he was out there and he taught us a lot of things and all that. Because we don't have that much time to be fooling around. Got to pay attention, got to concentrate. Are we ready? Yeah. Everybody go down to that end. Let's go. And I'd like them to be, uh, to learn not just to play hockey. I mean, that's something that they will in time. But learn some discipline and some respect for their elders and uh, learn to, the compadres, uh, whatever they have with the other kids. It's a whole new experience and I, and I believe in that. My son, Salvatore, and he's going to sing a song for his mother. And for all of you people out there. Not losing everything is like the sun going down on me. Hey, Brian, you know? Make sure you stay with that, Dina, when you come out. Okay, you traveled from there to there to this. Since the beginning. My dad's always tried to put the kids in some kind of sport so that they can have fun and he's always there to back us up. And the girls, by the way, they're, they've always enjoyed themselves in figure skating and that's something I don't really pay a lot of attention to, but I go when I have to go or Dina or Lita will give me a problem. He kind of encourages us to do our best 
and like if sometimes we don't do good, it's that's okay as long as we tried and. The reason I started figure skating was because I was low in hockey, so uh, originally it started out as that, and then I just enjoyed it. How was your dad about it? Fine. He was. It was. It's always the same. Do the best you can and enjoy it. If you're not having fun, get off the ice. I got in a boxing because I was getting too small for hockey and <laughs> so I says, I gotta try something else here and, and it's been working. Well right now we're in my basement. <laughs> <laughs> we both needed a place to work out. <laughs> they don't have a lot of the boxing gear around here. I mean, there's sometimes there's a bag hanging up, but that's about it. So <laughs> we decided, you know, let's put something together down here. We had the room. When your son said they want a box, what was your reaction? Well, I thought they were a little bit strange. <laughs> they actually, they were kind of impressed with the idea that we'd clean up the basement and, uh, and you know, so they could walk through here. We've always played hockey, but never boxing, and I thought this is going in a different direction, but it's turned out where it's really been good for them. Let it go, Dom! Dom, he's done what everybody dreams of doing type thing. He travels the world. He, uh, he's been national champion for, I guess, you know, six years, seven years. In the red corner of the National A team, Dominic Filet. He's a, he's a tough little guy. You have a brother who went to Olympics. That's pretty cool. Yes, very cool. I didn't realize it was that big a deal until subscribers started getting into it and, uh, you know, sending me telegrams all the way over to Barcelona and uh, then they put up this sign and... and then yeah. here's his sign. I don't know if... Yeah, we sure saw the sign the there. Welcome to Scriber. Home of Dominic Fillane. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is something like, wow. You know, it, it, I had to take a step back for a little while because it was getting just too big. It was like a movie, you know? The family behind us, pushing us the whole bit. So, I mean, it's, it's just a family affair. It is. It really is. You do what you have to do, and uh, it just falls into place by itself. Well, eight kids, we all wanted to find something different to do. We enjoyed being together, but you also like to do something different. Basically, he's taught us to try our best, and no matter what the outcome is, as long as we've tried and we've had fun with doing it. it. It's great and gratifying to see them try to excel in whatever they do, but it doesn't really matter if you excel as long as you're doing your best and you're enjoying what you do. Because this is what it's really about. And I'm having fun, damn it. Thank you all. Uh, hey.